Hello, Michael Swain here after Kansas basketball's 92-78 win over Kansas State inside of Allen Fieldhouse. And I feel like we should have a whistle going on in the back of this, or I should stop every 20 to 30 seconds because that's exactly what this game was. Uh, another foul-heavy contest where the rhythm was kind of hard to come by in this game. You know, you look at 47 fouls called in 40 minutes of action, over 70 free throws overall. Um, the discrepancy was very fine. It was very evenly called throughout the game, but just another one where the rhythm was really hard to come by for both teams outside of a, a five or six minute stretch there in the first half. But overall, this is a really good win for Kansas. Kansas State is a really good team. And I think this is a Kansas game that they had where if they played Oklahoma State here, or West Virginia here and played like this, this is a game that they would win by 15 to 20 and not the margin that it was and, and not the way it felt in terms of the closeness at times in the second half where K-State's able to get to six points and then down to eight later in the game. But overall, I think this is a team now that is playing with a little bit more confidence. I think when Kansas was going through its rut last week and about 10 days ago, I think you looked at the starters not playing at their best and now you can say that, okay, you know, Grady Dick isn't necessarily at his best yet. Kevin McCullough maybe isn't as efficient. KJ Adams not scoring a double digits. But where that got made up in margin today was the bench. And that's where we have to start because I think for so much of this season, the talk has been Kansas can't really get much from its bench. And there was a rotating door at center, right? Ernest Dude starts the season as the first big off the bench. Then it was Zuby Ejiofor, and then Zach Clements got some time, but none of them were really able to solidify themselves. And then a game like today where KJ Adams is in foul trouble, you get 15 good minutes out, out of Zach Clements. You get some good minutes out of Ernest Uday. He grabs six rebounds, a career high. He gets the one bucket around the rim. I think Ernest Uday in these last two games is starting to show some signs of uh, improvement where I think he talked about this the other day in our press conference, but he feels like the game is slowing down. I think you can see that in the way that he's performing on the floor. There are times where he's erratic, and I think he's got kind of the David McCormick high energy, maybe a little bit too happy feet at times like he was as a freshman, but that can get worked out. And credit to Zach Clements too. Going into this game, he knew he was gonna be this, the third big man off the bench if he came to that, and his opportunity came and he was ready. Uh, I think that this maybe type of game suited him a little bit more where it's not a big bruiser inside. He can kind of be a little bit more physical than the Kansas State big men that were there, but those two guys played big time minutes for Kansas. And then Joseph Yesifu and Bobby Pettiford as well. Yeah, I thought both of those guys provided some spark off the bench. Pettiford too had a little bit of a scare with his hamstring. Bill Self said he's not sure what that's gonna look like going forward, how it's gonna react in the days to come, but he was able to get back in the game. And I think the bench is a big reason why Kansas is able to win this game by double digits. I think in terms of the starters, Jalen Wilson getting 20 points and eight rebounds, uh, not the efficient numbers that I think he had been putting up during kind of the slump that the starters were in, but he's still a guy that I think if he has those other guys providing, I, I just think maybe the efficiency will get back to where it was if he doesn't feel the need to consistently be pushing himself. Kevin McCullough may have had the weirdest stat line of any player this season. I've got it here because I need to read it just to get make sure I don't get this wrong. So he finishes with 16 points while making two shots from the field. He went 10 of 12 from the free throw line, grabbed double digit rebounds. He's someone that in terms of his rebounding is so crucial for Kansas because when KJ Adams is out there on the floor, they need someone else to help on the glass. Jalen Wilson does that. So does Kevin McCuller. He's now averaging a double-double in the last five or six games. I think he's playing a lot better, even if the efficiency numbers for him shooting the ball aren't there. So overall, I look at this team and say, all right, you're halfway through Big 12 play, three losses. I think going into the season, you maybe thought that five or six would get you there, maybe seven. And I think it's on pace for that. The road games are gonna be really crucial. Can Kansas steal uh, a road game against kind of the top six, if you will? Um, you look at a team like TCU, Iowa State this weekend, Texas. There are some big road games coming up that I think Kansas is gonna have to steal and holding Sturm at home is gonna be really, really important as well. So I think overall this is a performance Kansas can build off of. But really it's gonna be important to see if the bench can continue to play like this because you know what Grady Dick is gonna bring you, you know what KJ Adams can bring you when he's playing well. Both of those guys had meh games today. So I think overall this is a performance that you hope that those bench players will be able to take another step forward at Iowa State and then another step forward on Big Monday against Texas, and then really going into that crucial run 
in the Big 12 play. So, of course, we got coverage for you at Fog.net. We got everything Bill Self said. Um, more basketball coverage, signing days on Wednesday. And also, if you're liking the videos, make sure you're liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Of course, plenty of content like this, football, basketball. We've got you covered from all angles heading into the home stretch of basketball season. Really excited to see how this team turns out and continues to develop because it feels like the last week to 10 days have been pretty big for that. So really interested and thanks as always for watching.